This is a crazy ride to make just to give back, you know. But I'm a pretty spiritual person and I pride myself on doing the right thing when it really, really matters. Well, this is a bunch of uh, cremation. Oh, okay. So I figured I couldn't really do anything but bring it back here. Yeah. Arriving back at the new facility where we rented our unit to fill up with all the stuff I got from Long Island. This is the unit I got right here. On the end, y'all are sit, are gonna see it right now, but. So check this out, we got everything, uh, everything back from New York here to New Jersey, pretty close to my house. So here's the setup I got in here. A little bit of a workstation to go through the first auctions, the first of the stuff that we're gonna sell. And then all of that area is basically a mystery like yeah obviously that's a telescope but i don't even know that for sure because i never opened the box but like see these boxes all here majority of them i didn't look in and if i even opened the top i didn't go through them at all Ugh. already such a crazy thing happened so there was like a whole uh, you guys will just see it because i have all the footage but here it is so I'm just gonna say welcome back to another video. Just the potential of the stuff in this unit, the excitement, the video content, everything wrapped up into one on this unit is making me think about this business in a whole different respect. I'm thinking after this, I'm gonna go big again. I'm just gonna continue to do it all year long. I probably won't buy another unit for at least a month because this is gonna be this is the hoard of all hoards, and it's going to take me so long just to go through all this. What I would have done in the past before the auctions became a thing is like try to sell this stuff locally, and that's just how you get bottom dollar. So like for me to do this the right way, the amount of man hours that is going to go into this is just going to be absolutely insane. But yeah, here we are. Welcome back. And... In this video, you guys are just going to see more of what we got. So more unboxing, different items, and then a massive surprise that nobody expected. That's actually just sitting right in this trunk. So let's get to it. There's at least three cremated remain boxes. So three people's cremations in this trunk right um it's so crazy because i didn't know what i was looking at at first and i'm assuming that when i opened that little box yesterday that that was the ring and the earrings that that person was buried in meaning that that ring could potentially just be a diamond ring those earrings are probably diamond earrings the reality is i'm not selling those i'm taking these remains and everything that's in that box back to Long Island to the facility in hopes that 
it'll get back to the lady who had this unit because that's just so crazy. Um, either way, that's what I'm doing. A lot of people might say that's not the right thing to do, just sell them. But I, they're, consciously, I cannot live my life normally if I don't do that, the right thing. But this is what I'm going to do right now. So I have these sage sticks. Some people might have no belief in this at all, and other people might be right, say this is right up their alley. But sage, with the right intention, known worldwide throughout all of time. No, I don't know that. But like in the Native American culture, things like that. Sage is known to clear space, clear out negative energy, and just get the energy back to what it should be. I'm a positive person, and it would it's hard for me to uh you know live in and have hanging out in this area with uh out saging it or just saying you know it's crazy because we did this house right that we cleaned out it was in uh north wildwood in new jersey or north cape may i'm sorry cape may down south all the way at the end we used a sage stick in the house we were saying like me and sammy what i'm saying is we used the sage stick in the house. We said, anyone who could be here, uh, like, this is your chance to move on. We opened the door. And then the screen door. So we started saging all around and saying all this stuff like, you're free to go, you know, go on, move on to the next life, move on to the afterlife, basically. I don't know exact words what we said, but the door swung wide open in the video. Like, it never did that the whole time we were there, except for that time. So... The, the screen door. So the main door was open. The screen door opened and swung. Psh, could have just been the wind. But, you know, coincidences like that make me really believe in this kind of stuff. All right. So I know that these items in this unit were very personal, a lot of them, and cherished by the people who had them in life. I know that some of these items, if not the majority of these items, were owned by someone who has passed on to the other side. So I'm just going to say anyone who could still be, you know, attached to these things or holding energy can go. Just go. Like, this stuff is good. It's in the right hands. I'm going to do my best to get this to people who are going to cherish it again. And I'm going to do my best to respect the items and your cremations to the best of my ability. I just want you all to know that and that you're free to go that it's okay to leave this stuff behind it could be weighing you down but this stuff is not you this is just material so i know easier said than done but but i don't feel any negativity at all but i do feel a weight that this whole unit was uh a weight the person who was still alive and the people maybe who were passed on so let it go let it all go we're gonna have to all let it all go so do your thing. So whether this works or not, uh, it gives me more peace of mind. So that's where I'm at in my head. So I'm about to load up these two boxes here. Two boxes that I've never looked in. Going back to the house, so this will be a little bit of a comic unboxing later on. Oh yeah, this just one box right here is a life changer. I can feel it. The amount of stuff. The amount of comics that are in that one box is mind-blowing. And the thing is, you can find comic books at like flea markets and stuff. I've done it before. But they're not this quality. They're not this old, and they're not this mixed. I'm just taking two for now. But I will go through a couple random boxes with you all right now, just because we're here. Um, and I think that would be fun for everyone. Mainly me, but everyone watching too. All right, real quick, actually, I didn't finish this one. So that's like a little, I don't know what that is. Characters from a comic. A couple little booklets. Blair Witch Shadows, Blair Witch 2 from the movie theater, I guess. But this stuff down in here, this could be pretty cool. Or it could be nothing at all. But Entertainment Weekly, Embezzlement and Rubber Stamp Art. Cooking book? I feel like that's not worth anything. Survival's Edge. Uh, these are just magazines, honestly. Look at that. The Sopranos. These aren't anything special. Well, that's not true. We got some heavy metal. Another cat fancy. Mega Mango. 
that's pretty good. These can be part of the got Maxim magazine with Jessica Alba. Yeah, just magazines. The Mammoth Book of Unsolved Crimes. All right, there's an, this is another gnarly thing, but there's like a whole bunch of vampire stuff, right? Like that. Well, this is Wolverine comic, but it's a Dracula. So I'm going to put it in with the Dracula. And then we have like Vampire Slayer, Vampire Books, the Vampire, Vampire of the Mist, different vampire books. But I also, we also found like this stuff, which I would relate to like vampires. These are probably silver though. So I don't know about selling these in the auction, but these are 100% vampire-ish. So that's all going in one collection. Let's see. It says, from to Dracula. Vampire collectibles, baby. Vampire stuff. Pretty cool. Definitely will sell, I feel like, to get back into here so I can get one of these random boxes. All right, this one honestly might be books. I don't know what this is, but it's honestly pretty heavy. PlayStation little guide, not sure about that. Oh, here we go with the crystal. What the, What is this? Hand painted. That's trash. Plastic little candle holders. Not sure if those are even. Oh, the crystal. The crystal's back with a straw. Look at this little thing. What is that for? See, if I go through each and every box, this is Pyrex. There is going to be a lot of, like, trash. Some more crystal. What is that? That's like... I think depression glass, maybe. Some kind of more crystal. See, this isn't really the kind of stuff that gets me that hyped, but this will definitely add up, you know? Oh, it smells crazy. This is a good sign. This metal uh, acorn thing goes to a clock, I'm pretty sure. So whether that clock's actually in here or not, what is this, like a little dune buggy thing? The wind in the willows. The wind in the willows. And then just like random stuff. Very random. I mean, somebody did their due diligence here and packed up all this. Japan marked. This thing's cool. I'm not sure if it goes to something else or if that's the whole thing, but. All right, we got something else. This is actually looking like maybe real silver, too. I gotta see what that's all about. Another one. Getting closer to the actual... Whatever this is. Hold on. What is this? This is like the most wild... Blade thing. Like, cake cutter thing I've seen. Seems like it would have been like from a wedding or something like that. Alright, I will say that box specifically wasn't up my alley, but definitely some money in it. Alright, I don't know how many gnarly boxes they have like this, but here's another one. Whatever those are, they just put a TV remote in here with a Christmas tree topper doll. I don't know, some of this stuff's a little bit wild. Alright, we're getting into the... Uh, Different type of stuff here. What is that, like porcelain metal or whatever they call that? A sock? Really? Some Christmas mugs. Alright, so this is a uh, Christmas whole box, but look at this. Nail clippers? These are a mixed lot. That's the issue with this stuff. I really do have to go through every single box. This is cool. There could be a whole vintage Christmas auction, really. I'm just going to start putting this stuff in here. An original elf on the shelf. I just dropped them. All right. 
another X-Files book. But other than that, mostly just Christmas stuff in this box. you got to be absolutely kidding me, right? So I'm assuming that this is a pet, right? I don't even know if it is a pet. There's another cremation in here. Oh, man. I can't even. So I got to put this in the trunk with the others. Monica. This is maybe too much for me to even handle with the cremation stuff. This is the fourth one. All right, just to give you guys an idea what I got going on here. So the other ones are in that box, and this one's going right next to it until I get out to uh Good thing I didn't take it there right away because hopefully there's not more than that. All right, so this is like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's try this one. All right. Magical Times, third issue, printed on printer paper, Mad Libs from back in the day, okay, so we got a comic book, that can go in with the comics, this thing probably opens up, Gingerbread House, this what's this Let's see what it is a whiskey glass genuine whiskey that's pretty cool actually I don't know that it needs this container something that probably was really cool but it's definitely broken this thing now little the mushroom salt pepper shaker I'm all about that another whiskey glass Okay, somebody might want those. A cat. Pretty cool. Not sure what that is, but it's broken. All right, now I'm getting excited. Let's see what's in his bag. All right. What is that? Oh, that's terribly broken. A roll of... Uh, is that tape? Oh, we got one. An epic little Pac-Man game. What else we got? Yar's Revenge. Oh, here we go. What is this, Annie Mayhem? Card pack. Little cat bed, another pack of those cards. This, I guess, was for these guys to sit on. They're broken, though. They might not even be worth selling. A comb. Okay. A little teapot thing. Tea set. Just one of the things, though. And then Space Invaders. Classic games. What is this? A Digipet thing? I don't know what that is. A little star. See, this is why you got to go through all this. These are cool little chess pieces or checkers. I think chess. But I saw some of them broken in the end, in the bottom of the U-Haul, so. Classic quotes from Star Trek The Next Generation. This is how I'm going to have this, start working this stuff out. So this one's like Star Trek and that kind of stuff, so another book. And there's a lot more, I just haven't got into it. And then we have this box here, which is like mostly cards and card games. And then I'm going to add probably stuff similar to this into that auction as well. Because it's kind of like that same fantasy Dungeons and Dragons type of stuff there. Right? And then the video games, these three, I have a video game box down here. That's just all games and controllers and stuff. So I'm just separating them into lots. We'll do another box, and then I'm probably going to ride back to the house. All right, we'll do another box. Yep. Just making sure the audio was on. That's why I said it so many times. Well, I was pretty interested in this box. That's just Christmas ornaments, actually. Let me see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a hoarder by the toe. So definitely not all the... Definitely not... All of these are going to be epic, but we got to go through them, so 
So I'm just putting a lot of the Christmas stuff over there. Because the Christmas could be an auction in itself. Beads? Just beads? I don't know about that. 101 Dalmatians. Alright, so that box wasn't even good enough to show. Like to... Well, just the amount of stuff, I, I can't even comprehend how this would be a even thing a thing i guess i can pretty easily comprehend considering how easy it is to hoard stuff all right let's see this box toilet tree thing gross 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 more of the checker pieces but i'm not going to try to even put that set together because i know there's some that were broken some kind of crazy crystal topper. We're just hoping the other half's in here. See, some of this stuff I'm just gonna have to cut out all the way, right away. Large solo cups. I don't know why anyone would really want that, but I gotta clear out this stuff for a second, hold on. A lot of this stuff, whether it seems reasonable or not, like this deer is cool, but I wouldn't even, I wouldn't feel comfortable selling that to one of our people online, so trash. All right, we're getting to the bottom of this box, so here we go. We got Provigil, Provigil, pills, never heard of it. A little Buddha, I don't know what that does, to pick up like a piece of food, I guess. A little mirror, why there would be a miniature mirror in there. What's in this? Nothing. That's trash. What do we got? Something very light. Extremely lightweight. An old, like, Ponderosa Ranch. Little cup. Now that, I could probably sell. Start it at a dollar. See where it goes. We have a stick. We have a clog, and then the rest of this is just pieces from the uh, the chessboard. So actually, moving forward, pretty good here. All right, we got this. I just pulled this out. So an old oil box. Well, it had like cans of oil in it. I may have just opened it from the bottom, but it's looking like we got a Virgin Mary from Dingman Falls, PA. That's all right. That's pretty good. Another clog. This thing's missing its head. Mm, know what that is. We got a little dog. Uh, an ashtray. That's actually pretty cool. Another dog to go with the other dog. A bell, but no thing on it. A little Eskimo, or no, Native American. Definitely old. Real old. A uh, little photo thing, but it looks like they're generic photos, not the actual people. Really, I'm just trying to go through all this stuff so I, I know what I ha that what we have and what I can start making the auctions about. I already know what the first few auctions are going to be, but after that, it's kind of up in the air. This dog didn't make it. He's broken. This one's fine. And we have this little baby thing and another like girl and then this goes where does this go this goes on the top of something so another box down it's just a sea of boxes at this point but i'm seeing that tropicana box back there and it's looking pretty cool so let's get in there that'll be the next one all right here we go for the tropicana box we have department 56 bird on a bush we have this snow baby with the rider and the goat or whatever that is oh it broke the wheels broken off come on whoa this is like the whole wagon they were all into these snow baby things half of them are broken though it's like i can't even sell them if i'm not going to sell them if they're broken there's really no point so I'm honestly just going to throw them out if they're broken. 
This is another bush that goes with the other bushes, I don't know. Alright, we got a big one here. Another uh, covered wagon. This is like the whole set, literally. Totally smashed that one. Alright. It is what it is. Alright, since we're getting into the swing of things here, another small box. What do we got? Arsenio with Bill. Not the whole show. Jen was there. Okay, that could have some gnarly commercials on it though. Sometimes people like to, uh, you know, go through old tapes recorded off of TV. Dishes. And then that stuff's getting thrown out. I mean, the thing is, this little butterfly is broken off of there. So, like, is it even worth selling? Maybe. As a lot? I guess probably we'll see. All right, next box. Oh, man, the amount of candles these people had. Unburned, though. Isle of Illusion, that might be, you know, keepable. Lost Universe cards. Potpourri, though. This one is a magical catalyst spell candle for passion. All right, now we're getting uh, a little freaky. Freaky deaky. I'm feeling like these people were, I don't know what that is, definitely spiritual, but they weren't uh, negative in any way that I can feel. I don't know, this is a weird box. I've been going on this side. But now I want to kind of get back on this side. Not, not really what I want to look through right now. All right, let's see this. This is very intriguing. It's just a, a, such a weird, such a weird bag, right? Okay, about to open this weird bag. I've had my eye on this since I first saw it. No idea what's inside. Uh, switching over to the GoPro for the YouTube video uh, so we can do a up and down angle just in case we wanna do an Instagram video. Are you ready? Okay, okay, okay. That's a flash. And then we got a Minolta vintage 35 millimeter camera. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, it looks like a camera bag now that I'm looking at it, but with the people's stuff that they had in here, you literally just never know what they were about to have. So that, that, Minolta, 35 milli. I might have to do a camera auction. All right, let's do this. Opening up old red. Y'all ready for this? What? is all of this. They put Tic Tacs in here. We got the Gucci gang. I mean, honestly, it's pretty obvious what this all is. So, I'm just gonna leave it in here for now. All right, I'm just gonna be dead honest. I'm done for right now. I'm about to just take the comics home and start working on the auction. But uh, successful unboxing. Uh, I'm going to have to just do this every day for like three weeks until I get everything done. One of the good things is every time I come here, a couple bags or boxes of trash and then throw them in the trailer at home and it just minimizes the stuff in the unit. I'm feeling some raindrops so it could be perfect timing. One thing I wanted to say is see these hats in the orange? Just got these in and they will be up on our merchandise site, which I'll leave in the description of the video. It looks crazy, this setting, but yeah, these hats, orange, we got orange and blue and camo up on the site. So I'll, I'll leave a link in the description if someone wants to grab one of these or out doing work and they want people to see their hat, you know? Safety orange. I mean, it's not really safety orange, but that's what I would call it. It's better safe than Saudi. Pretty crazy because all the house cleanouts we've done in the past, right? There's been situations, I wouldn't say stuff probably this good, because this is pretty good, this stuff. Like those boxes I just went through, not that great, but there's there's treasures in each one of those boxes. There's a few treasures. And some of the other stuff we've uncovered so far is mind blowing. We've done cleanouts similar size where all this stuff was left in the house and it all gets thrown out. So the fact that these people took the time to bring all their stuff to a storage unit 
gave the buyer of that auction, which was me this time, the opportunity to sell this stuff again. Because if this was all in a house and this was a bank job where the person got foreclosed on, there would be a crew there 6 a.m. and all that stuff would be in a dumpster by 6 p.m. and probably nothing saved. So the fact that we can take all of these loved items and sell them and disperse them throughout the country and potentially other places in the world is a pretty cool concept at its core. I'm done here for today. If I have to, I'll come back later because it's still pretty early in the day. But so this is how I'm gonna start uh, managing my life. So earlier today, I packed up merch that sold one of the giveaways that I didn't send yet. Um, so it's coming to you, Satiric Saint, because uh, somehow his thing wasn't working, but we have people that are like viewers for a long time of our channel. So if they win a giveaway, I'm not gonna rely on the uh, drip site for them to get that giveaway because if they couldn't put their stuff in, I'm not gonna make them suffer for not getting the giveaway. So we didn't re-give it away. We gave it to the first person who won. Yesterday, I spent a good amount of time editing the video for our second channel. And then today I'm gonna go back and start editing all of the content from the first of this series. Um, so basically I have to manage all of these different things for our business to make the money that we need to make. Cause like the content itself, is going to be profitable, I hope, beyond what we spent. Cause like I can make like 10 videos of this unit, there's so much stuff. But yeah, let's get out of here. One thing I kind of wanted to bring was this. I'm actually gonna get this framed and then surprise Sammy with it because this is her favorite show of all time. Pretty Little Liars. This crew right here. All right, Cruising. we took it to the mall to go for a cruise. Finn's looking like uh, she's content right now. I mean, I'd be surprised if she wasn't content. If she was? If she wasn't. Usually she likes to get down and walk around though. Not right now, she's not. Um, this is the Hamilton Mall which is 13 minutes away from our house. Like right when you get on the parkway. If you take daddy's way, how long is it? Long. The long way, I don't know exactly. The long way. Yeah, the long way. But it's pretty much popping right now here, but this could be on the list of dead malls on a normal day. Yeah, I mean around the holidays, I feel like there's a decent amount of because everybody's home from school. And they had Santa here. I don't know if they do the Easter Bunny. Oh, they, they do. do. Right? Finley, what are you doing? Check this out, though. They have this most epic carousel with all these sea creatures on it. But I never remembered... I, I don't know when the last time this was actually a working to the wider angle so we can all see it here but they have dolphins and whales seahorses all the coolest things on the sick carousel that you could ever have it's definitely broken down right now though what do you think finn pretty cool right this girl's wanna, gonna want to get out of here soon and then she's gonna start tearing it up. When mama tries to find it, what she's looking for, Finn's gonna tear up the spot. All right, Finn, we're gonna get out of this. We're gonna get out of the carrier here. While mom looks around, all right? Come on, let's get this going. Come here. Ugh. Yeah, let's go, baby. What's we looking for now? <laughs> yeah, free range chicken. 
she going to touch? Everything in the store? Or just some of the stuff? She's just really gnarly to bring her in stores. Because everything is free, free game. Let's see what she does first. This is the first time we've ever seen a Finley magic in the wild of the mall. Let's see where she's gonna go. You can see live action. No, you're not going near there. Don't even think about it. Back up. So far a brush and then whatever else she's about to get into. She's debating on whether she wants to... No way. That's exactly what that's for, Finn. You're smart. She's gonna, she's not gonna put it down. She's all about the brush. What is that? What is she about to get? All right, something. Don't t don't chew on the merchandise or then you're gonna have to buy it, Finn. Put that back. Put it down. No, put it back. Back where it goes. She doesn't listen very, right now. Look at this girl, though. She is so mobile, it's not right. <laughs> You're giving it to me? Just come to the mall to do family time and walk around, because it's a good place. No, don't take, give me that. Put that down, but yeah. I just wanted to do a little update of Finley, because a lot of people ask about it, and I know she missed. we missed her in the last video, so. But I'm gonna handle, handle this girl, and uh, see you guys in a little bit back at the house look at this bargain shopper yeah you got something bargain shopper at heart look at her go she got a purse what else is in there that's not a purse you already got your purse all right here we are making the mission happen Thank you, Gate. Thankfully, I got the storage unit so that this didn't have to be at my house for the last couple days while I was making plans to make this trip happen. So here we are, storage unit here on the end, looking good. And I'm about to pick up the cremations and bring them back to New York. Ugh. All right, here we go. Here's the unit, it's looking good. So they're all in here. And the only other thing that I can see that is very personal are these that someone made. So I'm gonna put those two in there as well. But other than that, uh, we should be good to go. Originally, I found this box and it had games in it, but it also had the cremated remains of at least three people. This box, but then I also found this box, which has the cremated remains of at least one person or an animal, I believe a person. That's it. And then so you can see where it says separate cremation. Not really sure, but here's what I'm gonna do. This one has the stuff that someone wore during their viewing, which is just... So we got that. And then I'm going to put the pottery in there too as well. And then I'm going to write... No, I'm not with that pen. That's trash. Property. Unit. 30, 97. All right, that should be good. Now we're ready. I'm gonna put this on the back seat. Of course I can't control what happens after I drop this at the uh, storage facility. But the other thing is, I have no contact to the previous owner. The storage facility has all their contact information and they can get this back to them if they try. This is the only chance of returning 
the cremations to the proper person who loved and cared about and even knew. So let's just go as that far as to say even knew the people because I didn't know the people. The people at the storage facility don't know the people. I would like to, if it was my choice, spread the ashes in the ocean in Long Island, but I'm not going to do that because it's not my right to do that. I have to just deliver it. And if they try to like steal the jewelry that's in there, that's on them. I'm not carrying that with me. Let's go. It's freezing out. Ooh, this is going to be a long ride. Let's just say it's going to be a bumpy ride. But the journey begins now. The spirit quest, honestly, is what I'm going to call this. Let's do it. On it. Update on the trip, officially in New York. Not New York, New York. We're never going there. We're on Staten Island, and then we're going to cross over on the Belt Parkway to Brooklyn, and then from there into Long Island, New York. We still have two hours and one minute to go, and I've been driving already for two hours. So I said in the beginning of the trip, it was an uh, 140 miles no 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 it was 180 miles to the location where I have to deliver this stuff uh, but that's all right it's been a relaxing trip so far in a minute I'm gonna stop and get some food fill up the gas tank and then we'll be on on it I'm just you know making me it's making me feel good the whole deal so far There is snow on the ground. I literally had no idea that this was gonna be a whole state park here in Long Island, but I, by accident, I didn't try to do this, but I'm passing Gilgo Beach right now, which is pretty gnarly because I've been watching like true crime videos for a while and the Long Island serial killer, very closely related to Gilgo Beach. Gilgo Beach, yeah, that's a weird private community from what I've seen. I mean, it's probably nice, I don't know. It takes just one person to spoil a good thing, I guess. My plan, I was looking for anywhere where I can buy flowers, right? So my idea was these people were taken off of Long Island all the way to New Jersey and they deserve to be returned back because in a weird, really crazy way, that storage unit was their resting place for the last, well, the one box is 2015, the other ones are before that. So you gotta figure, eight years they've been resting in that storage unit. So they need to be returned to Long Island. And what I'm gonna do is flowers and I'm gonna actually go out. I'm gonna put the box or leave it in the truck, put it out here in the parking lot and then I'm gonna go out and do a little like casting off ceremony type thing on my surfboard and then throw the flowers into the ocean. Um, that's why I came to the beach. But I just didn't realize that this entire stretch of, of beach is just a state park. It's not like houses and stores. So hopefully by the time we get where we're going, there will be at least somewhere I can buy flowers. Hey, I was looking to just get like literally four single flowers. Four single flowers? Do you know yeah. what kind of flowers you're looking for? Uh, not really. No? It's kind of a weird thing, but I had a storage unit that had cremations in it. Okay. So I was going to do like a little thing before I bring them back. Okay. Little ceremony type thing. More for like carnations. Sweet. Carnations? Yeah, that yeah. would be right, yeah. Yeah, we have a happy carnation, we have white carnations. Purple, light pink. 
purple. Okay. How many? Four. Four of them? Same color? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me and that's it then. Okay. This is not something that I wanted to do. I just drove four hours to get to back to Long Island to where I got the stuff from the storage unit. And I'm gonna have to drive another four hours back. I did wanna make this into something that could help me and my spirit and could help me in a way to help them to move on. So I did get four flowers from the flower shop right over there. And I'm gonna do some kind of little ceremony where I put these in the water there's certain things that I'm willing to do in life, but this is not one of them. Like I'm not, I cannot, will not consciously mess with this kind of thing in the wrong way. I feel like it's just too dangerous and detrimental to my well-being not to bring them back. My friend Glom, who goes to the other auction with me, the pallet auction, he said he saw a guy find last auction when I wasn't there find cremations in one of the pallets and he just threw them right in the dumpster see i don't know what that can do to somebody but i'm assuming if you i don't know if it's legal first of all but second of all can you become like cursed from that honestly so yeah i'm just gonna do what i gotta do but thank you guys for joining the journey and let's turn this into an epic day probably the coldest I've ever been. The ice bath that I did for the auction was an absolute joke compared to what I just did. Of course this is all plays into a YouTube video and there's like that entertainment factor but really that made me feel so good about just throwing the flowers into the ocean in Long Island where the people were from. Peace be with you, you know, rest and no negativity. I feel really, really good about this whole situation. When I was thinking about driving up here, I was thinking I'm gonna be like John Constantine in the comic book where the ghosts are all around him and he can't escape it. But I didn't feel like that at all. I felt very peaceful and I felt honestly soothed that I was doing the right thing. Even though I had to drive all day just to do this, it just felt right, it felt right. So I'm about to be at the facility I'm gonna give back the box and then I'm gonna head right back, start heading back home. And I'll be back home by like six o'clock. All right, it's the same kid from before. It's the same guy that was working. I don't know where he just went to, but. I mean, either. Well, this is a bunch of uh, cremation. Oh, okay. So I figured I couldn't really do anything but bring it back here. Yeah. And dude, I didn't want to be like a, a d before. Mm -hmm. And whatever, it wasn't anything personal to you. 
No, I know. The trash leaving. What? But they had previously already banned me before for something that they did. Okay. It was a really sketchy situation. Okay. And I made a YouTube video about it. So they reinstated my account because they wanted me to stop making videos. Right. I remember you telling me that. Exposing it. And so when this happened, I was like, you know what? I don't even like so if I get banned, it is what it is. Yeah. So yeah, it wasn't It wasn't no. you. It wasn't you. I, Dude, I, I didn't even take it like that. Yeah. I just literally have to do it because that's a part of my job. Yeah. That's and I, I don't blame you for that. Yeah. I'm just saying I didn't do that because because I was like trying to get you guys. No, no. And I hope that wasn't a complete burden, but no. you guys got the hundred bucks. Listen, so. I had to pay a guy just to dump it. It cost us a little bit of money. They just want it back online. It didn't come out of my pocket. It was this. All right, dude. Your name's Daniel? Yeah. Dan? Yeah. All right. Have a good day, dude. You too, man. How, what are the chances this will actually get back to them? Uh, I'm gonna try to call them. And uh, since it's cremation stuff, I don't know if I could just dump it. I don't think that's something- I don't I know if it's even do. legal, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. So I'm pretty sure her husband's ashes are in here. Oh, okay. There's two other people's ashes. And then there's a fourth bag that just says like separated cremations. It could be an animal, it could be a person. But there is stuff that was put at the viewing with the bodies in yeah. here as well, which I would never sell. So no, whatever right. happens to I it, even, like, I you know what I mean? Who would buy that and that would be a no, I'm saying reason. like diamond earrings, maybe. But oh, like something you. that was viewed with it, but I think you'll do the right thing. So have a good one, dude. So that's it. Case closed. What's crazy is yesterday I threw my back out jumping over a puddle next to my house because the water collects next to the gutter. I'm sure some of you have been there before. So I'm using this plushie behind my back to drive. But what's crazy is when I went in the ocean, I couldn't feel my back at all because I was just completely numb. But now all the feeling's back and it hurts again. But it's just a little, uh, a little thrown out. I mean, I've done it before. It's not, I don't think it's anything serious, but see you guys back in New Jersey. About to hit it four hours back. We are actually in New York City now. The On the way here, we didn't go through actually New York, New York, but here we are right now. We're about to go past the Empire State Building any minute. So as a part of your tour today on the channel, you get to cruise through New York City just a little bit. We're not even gonna get out of the car. We're just gonna see the sights here. 37th Street. Continue on East 37th Street for one mile. One whole mile on this street right now. Look at this. The hustle and bustle of the Big Apple. How can you beat it, right? I know how. Go back to my house. Oh wow, there was just a little peek of it peeking out. We might be able to get a peek of it. I got a tiny bit on film. There it is, baby. The big dog. The Empire State. The Empire State Building. Oh yeah. Oh no, this person's pulling out. What are they doing? Are they pulling out or are they not pulling out? What are they doing? This is the craziest New York action right now. Continue on West 37th I can't even Street believe this is a real thing. Is this guy gonna hit me or? Oh my goodness. That's where Uncle Pat lived right there, I think. I feel like it's the same street. This is what I can do though. Since I'm going on this road anyway, I can just pull over, walk down to the end of the street, put my hazards on, and get a clear, crisp shot of the Empire State Building for everyone. Check this out, pull into this spot. In a quarter mile, turn left onto the ramp to New York 495 West. Bam, hazards. Take this with me, hop out of the car. This is how quick and easy this is about to be. Look at this guy's car. That thing's pretty sweet. Crossing through, but we're in the thick of it right this second. There it is. Crispy shot. Let me get my phone out actually. Hold up. Check this out. I just pulled the ultimate shooby move. I heart New York sweatshirt for Sammy and a onesie for Finn right under the Empire State Building. And you could just get a New York slice right here if you were that crazy about it. But I'm out of here. It's so cold out. Oh, just in like the 
stereotypes of midtown Manhattan. I thought just in those five minutes of being out on the street out of my truck that I was gonna get mugged. What is it? The Ninja Turtles, how they just are like stealing everything. I feel like there's so many movies in The Simpsons too. There's a lot of people around here. This is one gnarly city. Oh, this guy is doing this for fuck, for, uh, for real right now. You gotta just pull over, dude, not just sit there. So just now I am about to exit the highway into my town, my hometown. It's 7, 10 at night basically, and I left around 7 this morning. So on the road for 12 hours, yes, I dilly-dallied around. I made sure to find the flower shop. I got all the giveaways for the auction, which I think that'll be in the comic book edit, not this one. You know, saw the Empire State Building, got the souvenirs. Really regret not getting a pizza slice from New York though. Wow, that was the call. And then, yeah, I'm just saying, this isn't really for somebody who doesn't like long days. But here we are, about to pull into town. So I'm shutting it down right here. That's the end of this segment. There, I'm so beat right now. I feel like I'm just the walking dead. Like I have to put two picks in my eyes to even stay awake at this point. We did it right here. Bam. Pleaded the mission and I feel like such a weight has been lifted off my off my shoulders onto the shoulders of the people at the storage facility. They need to do the right thing. I did what I could do. They need to finish the job. But at least the four cremations are back on Long Island once again. So, good night everybody. Peace. Oh, the fast life, the fast living. Fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm past driven. Look, we are not the same, this is not a game. Not a game. I've been swerving through the city in and out of lanes. Yeah, cause if I see it, then I want it, then you better know I got it. Yeah. And the watches, yeah. I'm about to do the damn thing. Yeah. I'm an outlaw, you can never catch me. Oh, yeah. I'm in first place, you can never.